Hello guys, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to my ninth video. Today we're going to learn about arrays and dictionaries. To create a new project, let's get started. In order to better understand arrays, let's first of all identify a problem. Okay? So imagine that we're asked to take an attendance of people in the class and we need to create variables to store their names. Right? So this is what we'll do, right? We do like this, and imagine we have like 50 names. We have to have 50 variables for that, right? That's not exactly scalable, is it? Well, Swift actually provides something called arrays that is used to store data of the same data type. So that's the only catch. Data has to be of the same type, okay? So let's say we want to, we want to create an array to store the names of students. We just say names equals create a square bracket and then we write in the names of <laughs> the student oh my god names of the students okay Uzo David like that now whenever we want to get a particular um, item in an array we simply call the array and pass in the index of the array into a square bracket so if I want to get the first item in an array I'll just say names square bracket and zero so indexes start from zero upward incrementing by one so zero one two three four five six seven like that okay so let's try printing this and what do you think the output would be i'm sure you got that so printing the first item in an array gives us emmanuel the second is going to give us uzo the third is going to give us David. Uh-oh, that's going to crash. Yeah, because I said three, zero, one, two. There's no three. Great. So the last one is two. Awesome. Now, whenever we want to add an item to an array, very simple. First, we need to convert this to a variable because constants don't change, right? Now, we need to say names dot append and we're going to pass in a new value we could call this grace if we run this and try to print the value of names we're going to get grace as one of the items or one of the students i hope that makes sense now you can actually do a lot of things you can delete you can you can search so let's say we want to find out if a student actually belongs to uh our school we could simply say print and uh, names that contains and in bracket we're gonna pass in a string so let's say John now John definitely is not in our array so we expect this to return a boolean of false so we run this and of course it said false if we try to return Uzo it's gonna return true Feel free to play around with the different functions that come with um, arrays and you're going to have a blast. Now let's talk about dictionaries. Like arrays, dictionaries are used to store data of the same data type. But one of the differences between a dictionary and, a, and an array is that dictionaries are unordered. So while for our array here, whenever we want to loop through each item, we are sure that it's going to return them in this particular order. So let's let's say for name and names and print name. Now this is always going to return this sequence. But for a dictionary, it could return in whatever order it does. Okay, we're gonna see it in a bit. Now to create a dictionary, we simply need to do something like this. We're gonna specify the type of dictionary. And it needs to have a key and a value. So a key, a colon, and a value. So let's say a value of type string as well. So this is going to be equal to a square bracket. And in our square bracket, we're going to have our key. So we could say Emmanuel. And then we're going to have a value. So let's say our, our value just contains the country. So Nigeria. Okay? And 
as you might have guessed, we could actually have different other, you know, items. So let's say, um, who am I going to use? Let's say Peter. I don't know where. Let's say maybe he's in the U.S. So USA, and like that. You can actually do more. Let's just create one more. And who are we going to use here? Let's say um, Eric Cartman. I don't know why I just. I just like this guy. He's in the US as well, but we just say um, the UK. Beautiful. Now, the catch is that the keys must be unique. So I cannot have Emmanuel here and then have Emmanuel here as well. This is going to crash. It's going to cause issues because it needs to identify a value using that name. Okay? So let's try to print out the value of of um, a dictionary. To do this, we just need to say the name of the dictionary, square bracket, and here we're going to pass in the key of the element that we need. So, Emmanuel here. Now, if I run this, it's going to return the value. Let's run this. And so, as expected, it returns Nigeria because that's the country that Emmanuel is in. And remember when I said that if you have um, the same key, in your array in your dictionary rather is going to crash so let's try using uh, Canada when we run this this is going to crash because we already have a key Emmanuel okay but if we wanted to change the value of Emmanuel so let's say during the course of our application running we want uh, probably let's say Emmanuel's country to become uh, what do I use let's say Ghana I'd say names say names and then the keys in manual equals Ghana so if I do this my country is gonna change it's just gonna update this key so let's try printing it printing names and we should have Emmanuel as Ghana of course now remember when I said that um, Dictionaries are not ordered. So if you look here, we actually have Emmanuel as the first index, but here we have Peter, right? We have Emmanuel, then Cartman. If we run this again, we're going to have most likely a different order. Oh, no, it did not give us. But this time it did. So I hope you get the point. This is not ordered, but an array is. So whenever you want to get data from a dictionary, you just simply call the name and it's going to give you the value like that. If you want to add a new value, you just say names and write the name of the new value. You could say Uzo and specify the value. Run this and we're going to have Uzo as one of our you know, elements. Great. Now, whenever we want to look through a dictionary, what we could do is say for key and value key uh, key and value in then the name of the dictionary so here we actually have access to our key so you can say key and then you could say value like this so if we run this, we're going to get a list or yeah, we're going to get a list of all of our keys and values. So Peter, yeah, like that. Now there's a whole lot more you can do with both um, arrays and dictionaries. So feel free to play around and just pretty much discover the functions that are available for both of these data types. OK, uh, if you have any questions as usual, please leave it in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, like and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.